Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from Lano, Texas, on a cool morning. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Lano, Texas? Currently in Lano, it's 54 degrees. What's the temperature in Brackettville, Texas? Right now in Brackettville, it's 61 degrees. What's the temperature in Capitan, New Mexico? In Capitan, it's currently 40 degrees. What's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? Currently in Fairbanks, it's two degrees. Two! They got two! Yippee! They got a degree. They got two of them. Anyway, moving along to what? Uh, I want to give a shout out to Jim. He's with the Texas Historical Com Commission. Not to be confused with the Texas Hysterical Commission. But anyway, he came by yesterday for a visit. Good morning, Jim. Enjoy your day. Anyway, what else? Good morning. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. Right now, right now, and right now I just went, Choo! but it's the first day of November. We got a new month, brand new month, brand new day. How about it, guys? Anyway, don't never worry about things you cannot change, and what else? That's about it, guys. I'm, I'm still in my Class C motorhome, and I'll probably be here for a, till I ain't here no more. You know what I mean? It's just the way it is, guys. So, <clears throat> what can we do this morning? Well, let's do, did I forget something? I probably did, but that's okay. Uh, oh, for the nooner today, I'll probably do, a, I was going to do a, a driving video yesterday around Lano and show you the, the lot that I had uh, that was sold, and, and so I'll do that today. Uh, and then tomorrow, uh, I'll do a video showing you an individual backing in a large fifth wheel into a narrow site next to me. Yeah, you get a kick out of that. <laughs> I thought it was cute. It's kind of like going down to the boat dock, you know what I mean, and watching boats come and go, you know what I mean? They, 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 well, if you watch them come in after drinking beer all day, they really put on a show. But anyway, so, <clears throat> John Hogg says, boo, y'all. Well, that was Halloween yesterday, guys. Thank you, John. Good morning. Did you go trick-or-treating, John? <laughs> Wayman Samang. Oh, this is Romeo over here, right there. And that's the rooster. And those are my bananas. And that's the whole thing up there. And inside of my little tiny home, which is not here, it's there. Uh, I've got the original stuff. Yeah. Old Romeo, my old pal. He, he and the rooster giggle all night long. Uh, Wayman Samang. Cool comment call. Have a great week, Rusty. I'm working on it, babe. Beer and bacon. This is Jerry Stalve. Gas at Walmart in Fort Myers, Florida is three nineteen a gallon. Well, I just paid three oh three in Kingsland, Texas yesterday and filled up my RV, sixty dollars worth of gas, to get me back to Fort Clark Springs. Tomorrow. Not today, tomorrow. Moving along to the Dogman Chronicles Jim and his dogs. Uh check that channel out. Good comment call. Thanks, Rusty. Happy Halloween and happy next new week and month. Yeah, it's we're here, guys. Everything's brand new. Don't you feel good? And today, and it, it, it may be a little rain here. It sprinkled last night. So, yeah, it would uh, be a good day for me to just sit here around the RV, take some walks, and uh, <clears throat> do some reading. I went off and left my book, Chesapeake, in uh, Fort Clark Springs, but I've got two Kindles. And, you know, I'm losing faith in Kindles. I really am. I had... I was trying to read a book last night, and it just stopped and started rebooting. huh? And this one right here, uh, I turned it on. It should go back to the page you were at, right? It didn't. It went back to my library, and I couldn't remember the name of the author. You know, but anyway, I finally found it. Enough said. Move along, Rusty. Uh, this is a uh, long way around. Says, good comment, call. Happy Halloween, everyone. Take care, too. This is the one day of a year where the gremlins can really run amok. Boy, I'm telling you, they've, they've attacked me totally. <clears throat> the uh, visible wireless has started doing its weird stuff, and T-Mobile stopped again. But the reason T-Mobile stopped is I'm not in my home area, and they caught me. You know what I mean? But so, they do have Wi-Fi here at the RV park. It works pretty good. So, if this video is a little late getting up, it's because the upload speeds are what they are. Uh, thank you, long way around. This is Der Trixa from the North Sea in Germany. It says, here by the North Sea, we have 51 degrees Fahrenheit in the evenings. Greetings. Greetings to you, Der Trixa. 
the Dogman Chronicles again, very useful. Thanks, Rusty. That was on the no need for generator. You know, that, I have to tell you, I've got two of those uh, power bricks or whatever you call them. <clears throat> you know, the things you recharge and use. One is 1,000 watts and one is 500 watts. Man, I'm telling you, you don't, I don't need a generator. I don't need to run my generator at all because rarely will I be uh, using it for more than eight or nine hours. Uh, very rarely. Yeah, but that's so cool, man. And there's, yeah, you plug, mine's got, the, the 500 watt one has two outlets to plug in 110 devices. And it's also got a fast charger on the top, a wireless charger thing. Yeah, it's neater than shit, man. It's called a Blue Eddy. And the other one, I can't remember the name of, sorry. Snowy Bells 12, howdy, Rusty. Yes, they are super nice, awesome info. Have a good time with your friend. I did. Yeah, we had an enjoyable lunch. He's a character, man. Uh, Curtis Stewart, I take it, I take it you not a tail pincher or a head sucker when it comes to crawfish. No, I, I don't do the heads and tails. No, I, I don't do that. No, I, in fact, I don't eat crawfish at all because I grew up as a kid. We used to catch them with little nasty things in that muddy ass creek water. No, man, <laughs> you can eat, you can have all of them you want. <clears throat> Alvin Masso, enjoy your short trip. Well, it's four days. It's a nice little vacation for me. Thank you, and I am. Tom Sharp, I use my Jackery 240 all the time. Runs a small fan and charges tablet and phones. It will actually do quite a bit. And the great thing about them is, is uh, you know, if you're, you've got a motorhome or anything, a car, I guess, you know, you can charge them while you're driving down the highway, you know. And then when you get to your next site, you're good to go again. Also, I got a notice from uh, uh, Starlink, uh, in, an email from them rather. Uh, their uh, their their full mobile service is available now for RVs. It's $139 a month plus $700 up front. But yeah, it, it's got a. You can either use it portable where you set it out on the ground, or you can attach it to your RV and you're good to go. I'd use the portable unit because sometimes you might want to park somewhere. Uh, where you're blocked by some trees or something, so you could, if you have the one that you can move away from the RV, is better, I think. But it, would I do? Would I get it? No, <clears throat> I don't need it. But it is available, and you know, if I was doing boondocking and stuff, that'd be a godsend. You know, you could be anywhere on the planet and uh, have good internet. Now that's super great. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Sashi Smith. Good afternoon, Rusty. Happy Halloween. Have a happy day. I did. I just grinned all day. <laughs> I didn't need a mask to go trick-or-treating. Don't say it. Don't say it. Cajun Jameis, The Monster Mash. I remember that song. Yeah, crazy, crazy. We had some good stuff when I was growing up. Russell Campbell. Hey, get some solar panels and you can watch and charge at the same time. I, oh, at, yeah, at the same time, and that will keep it charged. Well, I've got a 200 watts of solar for, for the uh, Blue Eddy, and it'll also work with the other one, too. Yeah, it'll charge it. It's not real quick, but it charges it. Uh, Ganapati Hedge, beautiful lake and nice RV park. We would like to see more beautiful lakes like these. Happy RV. No, it's a beautiful place. It is. It's very nice, man. I mean, you, you know, it's funny. You could travel all the way to Montana and not see something as nice as this, you know. But they have other things in Montana that are very pretty. Uh, sh uh, shift into high, nice haircut. Thank you. Thumbs up to you. And this is uh, 18 Echo. Not bad, not bad at all. There's a lot of potential and, ex and expansion possibility. Now you're thinking out of the box, 18 Echo on the tiny home, Home Depot. Thank you. This is on RVing Texas Land on River, James Micken. I can see why you chose this area as a previous home base. Very nice. And thanks for the walk. Yeah, I would have stayed here, uh, you know, and I could have, you know, uh, but, uh, you know, the, they keep going up. You know, RV parks are going to continue to raise the price, you know, and, and I don't want, I, I anyway, I, I would rather not be in an RV park. They're okay for a month or two, you know, but uh, living in them, you know, six or eight months at a time, I don't know. Everybody's got, because it's just like a small neighborhood. It's like a, it's like a marina for boats, you know. It, a marina for boats is an RV park for boats. A neighborhood is an RV park for houses. You understand what I mean? I mean excuse me. Yeah, a neighborhood, you know, where they've got the houses all packed together. Yeah, that's just like an RV park, same thing. 
just houses. The Anderson should be some nice large mouth bath in that bass bath bass in that river. Yeah, it could be. I don't, I'm not a fisherman. This is on the tiny home Home Depot. MD, you can buy an insulated shipping container for six thousand. Bigger, stronger, insulated, mold and rot resistant. For just over a third of the price. Yeah, you can buy one, then you got to do something. With. Yeah, I don't know about those containers, man. I, I just, there's something uh, about that. But, you know, everybody's got to do what they got to do. This is on driving, learning about the Class C. This is when I first got it, I guess. Uh, Vail Johnson, basically, incor basically incorrect. You're strategizing over 1% rate reduction that will force you to stop for fuel twice as often. Bad trade in my opinion well in your opinion i guess that's okay then because i've got my opinion and i like it i like my class c i guess i should say sue d i was never a klutzy person in my younger years but now in the eighth now in the eighth dimension uh, i sure drop everything also noticed i'm not so good with opening jars weak hands smiles no i hear you sue d yeah i, I i'm hell with lids man i'm he old rusty as hell with lids boy i'm telling you and uh, as far as dropping things, yeah, I, I drop stuff more, no, no doubt. I mean, it's not bad, but I mean, I, every now and then my hand just, it's not worth communicating. Dear Tricks of Good Stuff, Rusty, thank you. Boondocking with Dennis, if I can get back to it here now. There it is. Check his channel out on YouTube. Binge watching, binge watching the old casita. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Yeah, I had swivel chairs. Yeah, uh, Jim... Uh, the guy that came by and visited yesterday just uh, got him a new one. They're gonna it'd be it be delivered in May. They've had to wait a year for it. Yeah, he got he ordered a new casita. Ralph P. Those power boxes are handy, Rusty. I remember that huge hailstorm you filmed in Lano. Then it old Sparky. Yeah, it was Sparky, but I, I made money on that. Thank you, Ralph. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is Mama Kathy. Uh, beware, you have to make sure oh that's this is on the tiny home home depot beware you have to make sure of the weight load the flooring can hold you have to do a lot of research a real home has to have proper fire exits yeah whatever you, what you think mama kathy but you know whatever you know just do you do you you know uh here we go right here's old let, let's get clint price here enjoy lunch with your friend yeah, I did. We had a good conversation. You know, we're on the same page. You know, he doesn't talk politics or religion or that crap. You know, he's just a good old boy from a small town. And he was an executive with uh, Verizon for years and retired. His wife worked for Verizon, too. And they're both retired and, and uh, living the good life, trying to maintain their health. Uh, Scotty Thompson, you can say, what's her name, Google. What is the temperature in my town, Superior, Wisconsin? I can't. Okay, I will, Scotty, for your for your benefit. This is for Scotty Thompson. Hey, Google, <clears throat> what's the temperature in Superior, Wisconsin? The current temperature in Superior is 45 degrees. There you go, Scotty. It's 45, so now you know what to wear today. Mask bowler from Wisconsin. Sam Buchanan, gasoline in Benton, Arkansas at Kroger's, at Kroger's is $1.97 with my dollar fuel points. Well, that means it's two ninety seven. Okay, I got you. Thank you. Rocky the Rock says, Happy Halloween uh, to you, Rusty, Puppy, and stinking, Stinky Goats. Yeah, I got them goats. Here's a, here's a goat kiss. Here's your good morning goat kiss. Doop, doop, doop. And uh, what else? <clears throat> this is Mike McCuddy. I keep a few of those battery packs around. They work great for short stints lower wattage needs but they are no replacement for a gas generator there's no battery pack that's going to run your ac at least not in a practical sense no i agree no you, you can't run uh no you can't run the ac you run everything else but can't run that uh glenn mcneely thumbs up to you on the, and this is on comment call this is bill and carol's travel project Hey Rusty, enjoyed watching enjoy watching your videos every day. We just start our own YouTube channel. All right, I guess it's named Bill and Carol's Travel Project, and I get a lot of ideas from watching you. I would be very interested to hear more about the YouTube partner that you mentioned. 
may be an av may be an avenue there for growing our own my own channel. Keep it up. Thanks. I, I think it's based on uh, the number of subscribers. I think you have to have over seventy five thousand subscribers to have a partner, and uh, that, I'm not sure of that I, that's just what I was told. I mean, that, I wasn't told that by YouTube. I was told that by uh, a, a, another creator. And then they've got another thing that happens when you, if you get over a hundred thousand, yeah, they 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 want to take care of their they want to take care of the people that are making them money. You know what I mean? But yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you, Bill and Carol's Travel Project. Good luck with your channel, Glenn McNeely. Good morning, or good morning, or morning, Rusty. Enjoy your lunch day. Have a great day. You too. I did. Bayside. The next president is bringing back fracking to the U.S. gas, gas galore. Here we come. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Al Fur, thumbs up to you. We'll do three more because I'm not sure how long it's going to take to upload this, so we'll shorten it just a touch. Jeff Erdman, hey, Rusty. I have the exact same Blue Eddy and love it. I'm using it in my Prius to run a 30-quart, 12-volt compressor fridge when the engine is off both of which I purchased with your Amazon link. Well, thank you very much, Jeff, for using the Amazon link, and good luck to you and your Prius camping. That's a lot of fun. It's not easy, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, let's do two here. Hope Cordova. Love it, love it. Uh, Poodle Professor, the shorts are confusing. You know, that's on YouTube. They've got the short deals, a little, you've seen them. You have to record vertically. Then when you're ready to post, you can click on the short icon at the bottom of the of the YouTube screen. You can click on your video from you can then then click on your video from your library. All right, I might try. I'm not I'm not, not big on shorts, but if I do a a short, I'll see about it. Thank you, Poodle Professor. And uh, and with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, thumbs up. Okay, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want anytime. If you think about it, use the Amazon link in the description of all my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. Then, what else? Uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much as in snack. And the only way to lose weight and keep it off, and you know it and I know it, is what? Eat less, you know, get you a smaller plate. The only way That's the only way to do it, guys. Eat less. What else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds. Then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Sure, yeah. Lowering your blood pressure. Uh, yeah, it's, it's wonderful. Yeah. And then what else? Stretch. Stretch. Stretch, swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So, give your neurons something positive to work with. As in, don't watch the news. Why? Because it's all negative crap. That's my opinion. You do you, I do me. If you want to wake up in the morning, turn on Fox News and have a cup of coffee, you do it. But then if you want to wonder why you don't sleep well at night, your blood pressure is a little high, might want to think about it. But anyway accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until the noon video, which will be a driving video here in Lano, Texas, USA. <laughs> Bye. Adios. Vaya con Dios. Comprendo,